Hey everybody, it's Ashley of Day to Day Social Work. I am a private online tutor and I specialize in assisting people to pass the license exam on the master's and bachelor's level for social work. I wanted to come and make a video because I haven't made one in a while because of the summer and things have been crazy and I know people have vacations and all that kind of stuff and kids are out of school and that kind of thing. So. I will pick back up on the videos probably uh, in September because I do have some things that I've been thinking about making videos on and um, but I just want the summer to go by so that things can settle down but I did want to come and make a quick video just because the exam is changing a little bit in 2018 and I wanted to make sure that everyone is aware of that um, in case that in case you're not because the end of the year is coming so these changes will take effect very soon um, and please excuse me if I'm talking a little funny because I just got uh, Invisalign braces and I'm trying to get used to talking with them um, and my teeth are hurting and my tongue is hurting and all that stuff but anyway so I wanted to um, pull up the changes for you uh, so that you will know what to expect again the changes are not that big but they are different and I just want to let you know where you can get the information from and uh, for those of you who will be testing at the beginning of the year these changes will take place um, January 2nd 2018 um, and so basically they're changing the blueprint of the exam and so I guess to put it in even more simple terms, the KSAs, which I know a lot of people don't know what those are, but the KSAs are the knowledge, skills, and abilities of the um, license exam. And I'm going to talk primarily about the master's exam because that's what I normally tutor for, although I do tutor some people for the clinical exam, but that's not what I really specialize in because I've never taken it before myself. But for the master's exam specifically, and all of them are changing, but I'm just talking specifically about the master's exam. Um, starting Jan January 2nd, 2018 is when everything will take effect um, and the blueprints are changing. And so they're saying um, they're going to be minor structural and editorial modifications. So like I said, dealing with the KSAs, the knowledge, skills, and abilities, basically the four sections of the exam, which currently are um, human development. Uh, hold on, let me get this for you because I want to make sure I'm telling you the right thing. And again, this is specifically for the master's exam. Um, right now, they are... Oh, I just had it, sorry, and I can't edit this out because I don't know how. But... Um, Hold on, bear with me, bear with me. I just had it. What did I do with it? Um, okay, here it is. Okay, so for the master's exam, the KSAs were human development, diversity, and behavior in the environment, uh, assessment and intervention planning, professional relationships, values and ethics, and direct and indirect practice and those are the four areas of content that are on the exam that everybody is familiar with or should be familiar with um, if you felt the exam then they give you that printout telling you how you did in each of those areas so starting in January 2018 they're changing one um, heading or name from direct and indirect practice to interventions with clients slash client systems so they're changing that um, and then also the weight of the exam is changing so when you look at um, human development diversity and behavior in the environment it used to be 28 percent of the exam was um, scored for that section now it's going to be 27 percent and then uh, assessment and intervention planning it was 24% and it continues to be 24%. With the new category, um, interventions with clients and client systems, it used to be 21% and now they're going to 24%. So it's gonna be more of what is now direct and indirect practice. And then um, for professional relationships, values and ethics, which is 
all pretty much dealing with the code of ethics used to be 27 percent and now it's going to be 25 percent so it seems like they've taken a little bit from the human development diversity and behavior in the environment assessment and intervention planning and professional relationships values and ethics and they're putting that towards um, what is now direct and indirect practice so they want to know that you know how to interact with clients um, directly and indirectly so that's what you have to expect for the new exam well I don't want to call it a new exam but the changes the structural changes to the exam um, what does that mean it means that you continue to study how you've been studying um, but you need to know a lot more <laughs> about direct and indirect practice or as they will now call it starting in January interventions with clients and client systems um, and so I have sent some people out the KSAs as they are right now they're changing that whole thing and um, it will now be completely different so make sure that you get your hands on that new set of KSAs if you use the KSAs to uh, study with um, and then they also have a timeline on here um, new social work licensing exams released so it is a new exam um, exam candidates testing on or after January 2nd 2018 will be tested on the new exam content so it's new exam still has DSM-5 on it from my understanding um, and like I said the KSAs are completely different like this is a whole different thing um, but again if you're taking the exam between now and the end of 2017 you're fine if you continue on with the KSAs as they are but you definitely want to take a look at the new set of KSAs um, if you're gonna start taking the exam after January 2nd 2018 and of course as always if you have a question about anything leave it in the comment section and um, I'll try to help you to the best of my ability um, but actually when I'm looking at this KSA sheet the percentages are a little different um, than maybe like a point off from what they had on there but anyway all this information can be found on the ASWB website so I just want to let you all know in case you weren't aware that things would be changing so again if anybody has any questions leave them in the comment section um, if you have any comments of course if I can help in any way just let me know of course I offer tutoring still you can go to my website day to day social work com slash my site and request a free online um, consultation and all the information is there as far as rates and uh, times and that kind of thing I will be changing things again at the beginning of the year um, starting in January so everything is the same right now um, I changed them at the beginning of this year but in January I'll change them again it's not gonna be that big of a change I'll probably um, tutor only like two people a night as opposed to three or four like I've been doing um, and the days will probably stay the same so there'll be some minor changes but um, happy studying congratulations to everyone who's passed the exam thus far for those of us that are still studying and taking the exam you know look at the testimonials that have been posted by people who I've tutored who passed the exam some people take a, a couple times to pass the exam some people pass on their first try everybody's different so we're all in this together please mingle in the comment sections network if you can and then also um, uh, oh the website I haven't been posting a whole lot of testimonial videos just because it's summer and um, I've been putting some people prefer not to make a video and so I've been putting their testimonials on the website instead of making a video for them so just check everything out uh, subscribe to the channel share with your friends and your colleagues and I hope everybody continues to have a good summer and I hope everybody continues to do well and pass the exam and practice and do all the good things that make us great social workers and again if you have any questions or anything just let me know alrighty until next time I'll see you all later